change, you know, client to whoever it is here. Um, and then you can, um, you know, just send this over and they can follow along. Um, I have a couple of resources in here, you know, explanations of why this is happening, what you have to do, and then very detailed Facebook specific instructions, um, as mm -hmm. well as a fact, um, on kind of like, just like, you know, frequently asked questions. Um, there are three steps to this. Um, the domain verification itself, where your client will need to go into business settings in Facebook Business Manager. And what I'll do is I'll actually, I was trying to do it with Dev with OM, with uh, Kenny yesterday. I actually still need to see if he's put in this text record. But what you essentially do is you, you know, come here into business settings. In the left-hand tab, you'll see brand safety. Then come click on domains. Um, and we have a couple in here. We have Grow with OM. Um, we have some, some of our clients. These are ones that all create it for themselves. Um, and we have that with the one which isn't verified just yet. So I'll just do, you know, it's really easy to do. I'm just going to type in example.com. You add the domain. And then you just pick one of these three ways to verify the same way as Google Search Console. And then you just set it up. Um, because of the way we set up a lot of our clients, um, Dev with OM is its own specific domain that we own and we create subdomains for clients to create their staging sites. And then we push that onto their production or their lives. Um, so with that in mind, meta tag and HTML file upload probably will not work because, you know, it's tied onto the dev with OM domain, which encapsulates all the subdomains on that domain. And then when that gets pushed onto live, then, you know, dev with OM meta tag or HTML gets pushed onto the production for the client and then they get associated with ours. It's just kind of a mix up. So for this purpose, I would definitely recommend the DNS verification, which um, I did it for simple sale. It took me like two seconds. It was super easy. The hardest part was finding my login for um, DigitalOcean. So you essentially just, you know, they'll go into the domain. Quick, register quick question for you, Shelby. Yeah. Dan, do you mind reading? Oh, sorry. So do you want to be clear? We should not be using the meta tag verification method. Um, because I was thinking, hey, can I just take that small snippet of code and add it to GTM and verify I, and call it good? We tried to do Grow with OM through GTM, and I think the issue is that it's not directly on the site. Like, it's there within GTM, okay. but it doesn't load like that. It has to, like, pass through GTM and then load. I think Got that is kind of confusing. If you can get it to work, like, hell yeah, more power to you, but I could not get it to work. Um, for whatever reason, with Grow with, uh, with, with OM. So um, okay. I would definitely recommend DNS just for like the hygiene of it. And that way it encapsulates all subdomains. So like, you know, if you have a client that has their marketing site and then they have like an LP dot domain, like it'll, it'll get that as well. Cool. Just want to make sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, super easy. Um, once you go in there, uh, you go to their DNS configuration, go to text records, copy and paste this in. If the domain host requires a host field, you put app in it, and then you just save. And then, you know, for simple sale, it was like immediate, you know, within just like a couple of minutes, I was able to verify it and I was good to go. Um, but it can take up to 72 hours, so just be aware of that. Um, let me think. Then, once you have this done, I'm actually going to go over here to grow with OM. Um, if it's the client creating this and you haven't logged into their thing, you'll ask them to assign a partner and then you'll just give them OM's partner ID, which we have here in this document. Um, and then, um, oops, wrong thing, sorry. I have too many tabs open. Um, then once that's done, um, they can either assign an asset, they can assign a page, which you should do or have, you should either have them do it or have you do it, whichever they'd rather do. Like if they're already in there and they're like, yeah, I'll just do it, whatever. Um, but if they don't want to do it or they just don't, you can do it yourself once it's assigned to us as a partner. Um, so it's definitely a pretty easy process. It's just a matter of getting the client to do it or getting access to their Facebook account if they're, if they're comfortable with that. Um, I definitely think that will be the lesser option. I was kind of surprised that Evan was just like, yeah, let me plug in there. Um, but yeah. Can you define, uh, like, can you, can you just, what do you mean? Like get access to their Facebook account? Like if they just give you their credentials to log in. Like I'm in the business settings. 
and I went mm-hmm. to domains and I added, allied, allied, I added alliedoffices.com. Um, okay. Like you, you on your Facebook account. I can't, yeah, that won't work. No, because then we're going to own the domain. Uh, it needs to be somebody in their business manager, which is kind of like the trickiest part of this is like making sure that your client fully understands what you want them to do. Um, and what you can do is you can just do a quick like Loom or Drift or uh, Screencastify video where you're like, hey, this is exactly what I need you to do. You like go in here, you add in the domain, and you like, you know, do it, and then you just like delete it on your side once you're done so they know exactly like where they need to go, what they need to do. This might be a little tricky for clients who don't have a business manager. Um, and in that case, they need to get one set up probably. Um, it just kind of is what it is, but Facebook is going to start turning off, um, you know, ads for people if they don't have this set up. At least that's, that's my understanding of it. Um, Got it. So, quick question. Yeah. You're saying that because we want them to own their domain or we literally like don't have the ability? We want them to own their domain. If it's like really right. such a big deal, we can own their domain. And then most likely we can just have them create it and set it up and then take ours off and reassign everything. Um, I don't know what that's going to be like in the future. You know, like I don't know um, if there's any negatives to that. Um, I just know like, you know, as, as an agency, we like them to own their properties. So I figured yeah, that was just, just I mean, practice. It's just going to be really hard. Yeah, I've gotten a couple of clients to do it. I'm talking through it with one, and then, you know, there's a couple of clients I'm like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get this done. Um, so yeah, if it's if it's like really such a big deal, like we can we can set it up, and if they're okay with it, and then we can cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. Cool. Um, I just tried to do the meta tag process with Allied, and it didn't work. Like you tried to do it, just like throwing it on their code on the website? On their home, on their header, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Um, I know. I did it, I mean, the same way you and I did it for OM, I think. Um, cool. We'll figure it out. But, so this is like a requirement where our ads will be turned off if we don't do it? That's what they're saying. Like if you go to the resource center for a client who doesn't have it set up, um, let me see. I think they've got it set up. Let's check out concert here. Yeah, so, you know, it'll say up here, like, make sure your ad sets don't get paused, um, things like that in the resource center. Um, and actually, one thing that you'll want to do after you get everything set up correctly is that you will have to optimize your events. Um, they're changing it so that only, I believe, eight conversion events um, can be sent through the pixels from a single domain to be used for ad delivery optimization. So you're going to have to pick the events that you want to set up. I was trying, I, I figured that that meant custom events, but it doesn't seem to include those. I think like as long as you've created a custom event and like, you know, it'll be like, you know, it's, it's like the main property of it is that it's a lead and then you have maybe like content name as a parameter to differentiate it. It's still a lead. So you're still going to optimize for it in that way um so there might have to be some simplification like if you have a client that has a lot of different um events that they're optimizing for um you know let's say um some of our clients have leads as like their main priority and then they have like downloads or content views or something as like a secondary one you would have to set up like the priority list of your events um i'm trying to think if i did that for anybody i think i was starting it for Simple sale, but they really only have leads. But you can definitely set up like um, I think like content is a is a built-in preset uh, conversion for Facebook. You can set that as like a secondary if you have like um, ebook downloads or something like that. Interesting. Eight conversion events. Eight different events. You're saying like if it's a lead event, but it's divide it's broken down by different parameters. It's just counts as one. I believe so. Yes, I, I, you know, I figured it was probably including those um, custom conversions as like those events that you could optimize for. But when I tried to look for them in the events, it just like didn't exist for whatever Got reason. It. And this, 
also might be a thing that the client has to do on their side. I did try to do it on our side and it wouldn't let me. It's like, oh, you don't own this domain. You don't own this thing. So you have to like have this other person, like the person who owns it has to do it. It might be okay. something where you want to have like a 30 minute walkthrough meeting with the client, show them everything that they have to do, get all the necessary parties on. I know it's like a huge pain in the butt to get this done, but it, it just has to get done. Yeah. What a bummer. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for digging into this. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. I know I don't have all the answers, but I can definitely try to help out with things or figure things out. Um, or if you want like a, another walkthrough, I can do that. The template, the instructions are in the template folder. Yep. Yep. They're in, um, I forget which uh, folder. I think it's like the, the one that encapsulates other, like contract something and other. Cool. So I was not really sure where to put this. Um, I didn't go over there. There's a couple other instructions in here, like how to assign OM as a partner, um, and then how to associate a page with a verified domain. Nice. I'm going to go in here and delete example again, because I've we don't own example.com. <laughs> Well, cool. Awesome. Thanks so much, Shelby. Uh, yeah, for sure. Thanks, y'all. Um, any questions before we head off? Mm -mm. Okay. Do we know the timeline? No.